Hey guys, what's up? This is Boyin Bus. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. If you guys are going through some issues or problems and you are an artist, I think this video is for you. Most importantly, if you think this video is for your friend or your colleague or anybody who is in art industry or an independent artist and they are going through burnout i hope you share this with them because this might motivate them in some or the other way so the story of silent hill is actually an amazing story the story of how this cult classic was made because at that time japan was kind of going through this revolution of horror science fiction due to nostradamus and his prophecy of the world is going to end and then resident evil 1 came in and it was like the big thing at that point of time in the horror genre and konami was like hey we want to make something like this and there was a guy his name was toyama his senior said that hey make this sequel of this olympic games or make a new game from scratch Toyama loved new things and he was like yes i want to make the new thing okay so this this guy was elected now there are two more programmers who were elected their names were Imamura Akehiro and Oshima Meoto these two guys were actually the programmers which was an important part since programmers didn't have that much importance in the gaming industry before the 3D kind of aspect came which was brought in by PS1 before that there used to be only one programmer but now we have to create an environment we have to render everything Imamura Akihiro was the one who created the engine and Oshima Meoto was the one who created the system to create like environment effects and the camera angles of the game then came the guy who created the CGI his name was Sato Takayoshi then with these four people production began i just want to tell you guys the back story of Sato Takayoshi he was a guy who used to make art like 3d stuff but he was a guy with great potential he never ever got any credit for his work because his seniors used to eat his credit and one day he was like hey give me what i deserve otherwise i'm not going to teach these old people how to do 3d and other stuff and they were like okay we're putting you in team silent he was like okay and that guy made the entire cgi of the game my god can you believe it like i'm going to show you guys a awesome compilation of like how amazing this guy was
had a phenomenal potential. He worked in Konami for two and a half years. He slept below his desk. He used a 150 units computer to render his 3D artwork. That was the art which this guy created. Now comes the production part in which Oshima Miyoto played a great role as a programmer. Since we were creating a 3D atmosphere, there were a lot of problems. Also in PS1, there were a lot of limitations. Like there was so much that you had to render in this game. But Oshima was like, we have a pathway around this. Because Toyama knew what was the actual main element of fear in this entire game. It was the darkness. Darkness actually harassed Toyama in his childhood because he used to live in an olden time Japanese house in which the washroom is outside the house. So at night time, uh, you guys get the point, right? Yeah, <laughs> you have to run, do the deed and run away inside the home before someone grabs you at the point. Yep. So he was like, hey, it was a horrible experience in my childhood, but that's going to be the main idea for my video game. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> and the main thing with, with that was that it took a lot of processing. Like You have to make this open world and also you have to make darkness and all. And how will anyone see anything? In this darkness. Oshima came with the concept of point lighting. Like the point lighting just works as a light. It will illuminate every single thing th that you want to illuminate. And it would take a lot of processing time and this and that. But Oshima came with a great concept of just half rendering other areas which were like not that much visible. I'll show you guys some examples of it. It was a genius idea so that the game can work smoothly. Also, not too much processing hassle. Also, uh, you cut the half house, you cut the trees. It's still fine. You know why? Because it's dark. What the hell are you going to see in dark? You just have this much light and you can only see this much portion in that light. That's the best concept of all time. That was a genius by Oshima. Now, when it came to the story of Silent Hill, the first idea of what should be the story of Silent Hill was Stephen King's Mist. Since Toyama was like, I, I don't trust my skills since he was a real youngster at the age of around 26. If I'm wrong, I'll put something in here. At the age of 26, he was like put as a director of a game which was totally a new concept. I mean, not totally. Resident Evil 1 was already out, but still, it was still a new concept that they have to use. In Resident Evil 1, they did the house thing. And here in Silent Hills, they had to make the Silent Hills, which was not like a really doable part. So Toyama was like, I don't trust my skills. I don't know this, I don't know that. He was like, uh, let me just get something ready-made so that I can copy it and make it properly. Stephen King's Mist was taken finally, but Stephen King's agents were like, nah, we are not giving this to you at all. We are not giving you the copyrights for this book. And then the big problem happened due to a sudden shift. The guy who was the senior of Toyama-san was promoted to the board of director. And after that, this guy was the new head of the Team Silent. He was not a game developer at all. He used to do the marketing he didn't know anything about game development. And that's the reason why he was elected to give the team silent a kind of marketing perspective. And the first meeting that they had with Toyama-san, it was like, okay, the Stephen King and his agents, they are, uh, they are not giving us the rights of their book to use in the game. So we should not do that and make the entire story from the scratch. And this was a risky decision, but somehow his senior was like, okay, no problem, do it. And it was the best decision of all time. Also, Mizuo Shiyuki was a character programmer, how character will interact, how Harry will jump, run, do dance, 
or even die in the game and takashi isao who was a resident evil fan let me just tell you guys this guy didn't knew anything about game development like he used to be a cameraman who used to work in advertisement but after watching resident evil 1 he was like i want to do gaming like i want to make games and then he came in and his art was so good toyama san was like you go bro and they didn't teach him any norm in the game development industry so that the artist can perform his art work properly without any issues without any lag anything another guy who was in the silent hill team his name was ito ito san was really poor kid he was not that much financially stable after that he got selected to the most esteemed and the most reputed and decorated art university in japan which was tama art university he went there and since most of the students there were like financially stable and well going they used to leave paints and when the bottles were half fill and half empty ito san took those bottles and created art with it and let me tell you guys this man created this like just let it sink in you like this man had art in his hand and man this guy helped neoko san create various monsters in silent hill also in silent hill 2 he worked in lots and lots of monster creation etc also he created hospital basement insides of the gillespie's house and takashi san made the entire environment like the guy who was not even related to the gaming industry was the one who created the outside the roads shops he created all of that now how did the name of the game came in so there was a team member who lived in shizuka oka they just translated that to english and yeah there you go you got the story name awesome pok champ i'll give lots and lots of credit to oaku san o- oaku san actually worked in event programming now what is event programming let me tell you guys so for example a specific event will trigger specific aspects for example if you put key in the door the door will open so basically what i am telling you guys he was responsible for every single awesome puzzle in this game he also showed people how certain scenes will work out he used to write these things like written in blood or something like that it was a detailed information that he used to give to his workers so that they can understand what he is trying to make also you guys remember the music of silent hill it was so soothing it was so relaxing it was so awesome it was created by akira san and this guy the only thing i can say about it he slayed it and uh, now it was time to go to e3 and show people how this game was and the people who were in e3 they saw metal gear solid they saw ocarina of time and then came silent hill and fans took it like they loved it they loved it and since toyama san was there he was really humbled by this experience he really appreciated the support of the audience and he was in atlanta and he was warned that atlanta is not a safe place which i see trash taste i know what the hell happens in america man so he was like okay what bad can happen he went to a factory this this factory and then he got mugged great job dude wow awesome he went around america and then he found this like empty downtown type of place in elanoy he started taking videos and photos of that place and that place became the core area of the silent hill and yeah meoko san she grew up when the nostradamus apocalypse was like really really famous and and she was a really interested candidate when it came to sci-fi and every single thing that's the reason she was able to create these types of monsters now after all this hassle issues bugs here and there team silent was finally able to deliver the game the problem was that since the game was actually created before 
like the story was made since they dropped on the missed part and then they created their own story from the scratch there were a lot of holes in the story and the narration which was good dreams are supposed to be horrifying there is no way that dreams are supposed to be uh, understandable or fathomable there is an element of uncertainty required and that mistake actually worked for the team silent after so much hardships after so much adventure unfortunately toyama san left the franchise and our artist who created all the cgi that was the one who came up with the story of silent hill 2 can you imagine like that was the talented guy who created every single cgi cut scene in silent hill 1 and now he created the entire story of silent hill 2 he took inspiration from russian book such as this one and then he created every single character and oh my god they they were the characters which were drawn were so good in silent hill 2 also silent hill 2 story was also great but i'm getting ahead of myself silent hill 1 was a success all thanks to hard work of every single artist and every single programmer let's not forget them because before that part they were kind of underdogs and if you guys are going through some kind of burnout or anything let my videos kind of help you so that next time you make a cult classic and i make a video on you okay man thank you for watching this video i really really appreciate it i hope you guys are safe and i hope i see you next time i upload Bye